Hi everybody, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and today we're looking at this 2013 GMC Sierra 2500. We are in the North York area of Toronto. Truck is silver in color. It's equipped with the 6 liter V8, uh, four wheel drive, and the automatic transmission. It's got just about, just over 99,000 kilometers on it. It's in pretty decent overall shape. You can tell it's probably used as a work truck, but taken care of decently for a work truck. A couple of dings and dents, things like that here and there. Is their rear uh, passenger side fender, bedside there. A couple of scuffs and dings. Looks like somebody tried to repair a ding there. Couple more scratches on the passenger side door. Here's the rear door, the front door, a little scratch there. No signs of rust or anything like that, though. No. The dealer told me that this truck came from uh, out west, so it is pretty solid. Again, a couple little scuff stings here and there, but nothing huge couple of rock chips along the front edge of the hood. You see some surface rust just starting with those chips. Truck is equipped with what appears to be an aftermarket grill. Bumper's nice and straight, doesn't look like it's been in any yet. Major accidents. A little bump there, but I think it's actually oh, just probably from getting rubbed. This light is pretty yellowed. Might need to be replaced. All the tires are close to in need of uh, replacing. These are about, these ones are, I believe, they were eight, eight thirty seconds, but uh, these are knobby off road tires, so they should be a little higher than usual. They're all matching Goodyear Wranglers, and they were made in uh, 2015, as you can see here. The rims are in decent shape. The brakes, hard to see with these rims, but the front rotors are a little rusty, and the front sh uh, pads seem to be about 50 or so percent through their life. No major dings and dents, anything here on the driver's side. There's a back driver's tire. This one's this one was worse. Uh, you can tell it's pretty much done. I believe there was five thirty seconds left. But you can see that they're showing their age. They've been beat up. Again, rims are in decent shape. The the rear brakes appear to be fairly new. The rotors are, well this, these rotors are a little bit uh, rusty, but I believe from sitting. It's hard to see in there. And the pads look fairly new too. I've, there's probably about 80% of life left on them. As you can see, no major rust or damage in the wheel wells. The frame has uh, is surface rust on it, but looking underneath, I see no major issues. Just your typical surface rust from a truck that's probably been dirty and worked most of its life. Rear bumper has a small dent in it right there. It is equipped with the trailer hitch and your spare tire is mounted under there, which is matching to the rest of the tires on the truck. Tailgate works as is expected, and the uh, truck is equipped with a spray-in liner, which is a little beat up. There's snow here and there, but like I said, just evidence of being a work truck. A couple of dents and stuff in the wheel wells. Just a uh, decent-sized dent along the rear rear bed rail there.
Here's the passenger side tires. They're a similar condition to the other ones. These Wranglers, again, they all match. Or that frame. Just some surface, surface kind of things, but all the body mounts, cab mounts, they all seem like they're in really good shape. So no concern there. Looking under all the CV boots for the four wheel drive, they all seem like they're nice. Don't need any, no issues. Real dry under here, no, no signs of leaking or anything. All the windows, uh, side windows, back glass is all GM. All checks out. However, the windshield has been replaced. It's an aftermarket PGW, but there are no chips, cracks, anything like that on it. It's a passenger side interior. A couple of stains, things like that. You can see on the door panel there. Uh, this one, nothing broken, anything like that. A couple of kick marks in the bottom, scratches. The rear doors do work just fine. Again, they have scuffs, scratches on them. Signs of a work truck. No rust issues in the doors, in the jams. All pretty good. The rear seat, uh, fold up, fold down option does work just fine. However, it is a bit dirty. Dirty and scuffed up. It'll probably clean up all right with some scrubbing. I don't see any rips, tears, anything like that. It's just dirt. There is a water stain uh, on the headliner there. Which could be a sign of a leak from somewhere. The belts seem like they're in good shape. The extra compartment in the dash works. No damage, anything like that. The glove compartment works just fine. The original manual is in the truck. Uh, it doesn't have a carpet. It's equipped with the rubber mats all the way through, which is good for a work truck. Passenger side seat, pretty good condition. Doesn't have any real issues. Again, it's a bit dirty. The whole interior is a bit dirty. Needs a good detailing. Center console, flips, folds down, just as it should. Nothing's broken, missing, anything like that. We'll go around to the driver's side now. Uh, this piece here on the driver's side rear door, this piece of trim is uh, busted off. You can push it back down, but it does come off easy. Probably a broken clip or something. Here's a driver's side door panel. A little dirty. It's in the cup holder there, a bit dirty. No real damage, anything like that though, so that's a good thing. The rear door on the driver's side opens as it should. However, the window Window switch has a broken clip or something. It doesn't stay in. Wires keep pushing it back out. There's a bit of surfacey rust just starting on the bottom of the driver's door area, as you can see. It looks like it's from being rubbed. The doors. As you can see here is under the door. It's not a major issue yet. 
but it should be addressed. Again, here's some dirt and stuff on the rear seat and the driver's side. The driver's door, if you can see, does have an issue with the hinge. If you could hear that, it does get stuck. Let's do that again for you. So the hinge, there's definitely an issue with that hinge there. But it's may have been bent or out of alignment. Don't look like they've ever been apart. But there's definitely some kind of an alignment issue with them. Like I said, or it may just need need some lubing down here. Here's the driver's seat. It's all in pretty good shape. No rips or tears, anything like that. The interior throughout is in good shape other than the bit of dirtiness. Dashboard is nice. No cracks, no rips, no scuffs. There's a bunch of screws here on the dashboard. Uh, I have not been able to find what they came from as of yet. I don't know where they came from. The cluster, everything looks nice, fine, no issues. There's a couple of stains of yellow paint on the steering wheel, but there's nothing ripped or torn or anything like that. Here's some more of that yellow paint you see. It's also uh, evident on the shifter here, some of that. A little scuffing on the emblem there. You do. Everything seems to work fine. Radio works just fine. Uh, all the the heat does work fine. The AC seems to check out. The lights, all the indicators work. The lights work. I looked at, I checked them out outside. They all work fine. So everything is in working order. It does have, it's equipped with a vanity mirror on the passenger side, which isn't broken, no issues. These dome lights work just fine. All this. We'll check under the hood. The engine seems to run nice and smooth. Haven't taken our test drive yet, I will after the video. But as you can hear, there's no belt or pulley noises, anything like that. It's a bit dirty and dusty, but I see no signs of any leaking anywhere. It's all very dry. All the hoses, everything are in good shape. Battery and charging system tested. Battery is at 12, uh, it's charging at 14.5 or six. Your coolant is up to snuff. It is uh, testing at negative 43 degrees. Tested your uh, brake fluid. That is, that's at 1% humidity, which is good, not a problem. Shut the truck off. So you can see that the belts is in good shape. It doesn't appear to need any replacing, anything like that. Uh, check the power steering fluid. It is a bit low. It needs to be topped up. Don't see any signs of leakage or anything like that though. So it just needs to meet some service. All right, did test the oil. And that came back uh, in the red zone on my tester, which means uh, it is bad. Uh, it was pretty dirty, but I, I didn't see signs of antifreeze in it, but I said the oil was pretty dirty. Definitely needs a changing. As you can see down here, everything looks good. There's no rust, anything like that along the hood edge.
So there you have it. There is your 2013 GMC Sierra uh, 2500 four-wheel drive. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.